If we apply the fundamentals consistently, we have the better ability to be able to get our hits. I'm going to go over the eight points of contact to the grip. Understanding how to grip your firearm is really important. When you access that firearm from a containment system, a holster, or even off of a table, you want to get as good of a one-hand shooting grip prior to coming out of or off of a table. Now, some people might think you just grab it and you shoot it, right? Um, it's really important to understand how the hand wraps around the gun. We want to get as much surface contact as possible around the gun so that we can actually manage belt recoil as well as control deviation. So number one, we're going to take the web of our hand, placing it high up on the back strap. This is the back strap of the pistol. So high up, not to impede the slide, high up on that back strap, that's number one. Number two is we're going to take our middle finger, followed with our other two fingers underneath, placing it on the front strap underneath the trigger guard. Number three, we're going to take our finger and place it somewhere else other than the trigger on the seam between the slide and the frame of the gun is a great place, or even on a little reference area if your firearm has that, like a little takedown lever or whatever. On the support side, we're going to flag our thumb to create a space between our thumb and our three fingers so that we can introduce our support side hand. Number five, we're going to take the meaty part of our hand, placing it as high up on the grip as possible, filling in that space. Kind of turn your hand just a little bit to kind of introduce it into that space. You're going to take your index finger, placing it underneath the trigger guard, followed by your other three fingers. You're going to overlap your thumbs and then close the palms in the back so we don't have space back there. Those would be the eight points of contact to the grip. The grip is vitally important to be able to manage belt recoil when we are in that extended shooting position, applying as much friction to the handgun, getting as much surface contact as possible whenever we can. Stay tuned for the additional fundamentals that I'll be talking about in these next videos.